Okay, on this question it says, here are the costs of 10 electric smooth top ranges rated very good, excellent, or excellent by consumers. Find the mean, median, quartiles, range, and IQR. So the first thing you want to do is click on this button to copy it to a table. So we'll select copy to a table, and then OK, and then we'll go into our Excel, and I'm just going to do a right click and then a paste. Um, you can also do that from the uh, the home ribbon. Um, the paste is right there. Okay, uh, the first thing we want to find is the mean. And so I'm just going to come over here, like maybe here, to calculate the mean. Um, and let's see, we need the mean. We want Q1, uh, Q3 of the median. Q3 and then the range and then the IQR. Okay, so the mean is just equal. You do the equals command, and this is the mean is the average. You're going to do type the word average, and you can grab that um, command. And if you double click it, it'll put it in there for you. You can type it in manually, and then you start at A1, and you're going to want to drag down to get to A10, and then um, close your parenthesis and hit enter. Now, to get the quartiles, it's a little bit tricky. You have to, um, first of all, you're going to want to sort your data. So uh, we'll, we'll do that first by coming home uh, into the home screen here, and then to sort, and then, well, let me get into uh, A1, and we'll go to the home screen. And then we'll sort uh, smallest to largest. So it's sorted smallest to largest. And uh, let's see, we have 10 data values. So when you have 10 data values, the quartile is just going um, to be the median of the first, um, you know, the first, in this case, five. So we will come in here like uh, that, grab one to five, and I'll copy those and paste them here. And then the Q2, I'm going to need to get Q3, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste those as well. So I'll copy those and then paste it here. Now, I mean, you might be able to see that the median is 600. The median of this row would be 600 because that's the middle number, but you can ask it. You can say um, Q1, then if I come over to this cell, I'll say equals the median. I'll just ask for the median of this column, the first half there, and I hit enter, and I get 600. But that, because it's it's the the court, the median is the number that splits them in half, and when you have an odd number of data values, it's just the number that's right in the middle. So you should see that the median for the for the second half of the data is the Q3. Um, I'm sorry, it's 1,050. So here I can, if I wanted to do Q3 real quickly while I'm at it, I can do equals and then median and then just uh, grab. And then to actually get the median of the data, I can do equals and then median. Um, and then see that time I typed it in, just feeling crazy. Okay, so A1 to A10 and close my parenthesis and hit enter. And if you look, you see, well, there's not actually a 950, but... Um, what you do when you when you have an even number of data values is you take you take the middle two, and um, you might be able to in your mind just recognize that that is um, uh, the at the sum you add these two the middle two together and divide by two. So just off the side you could verify that because it's kind of fun. You'll have to add them together first. So eight fifty if you do that in parentheses, plus ten fifty close parenthesis, and then divide by two, you will in fact get the 950 that Excel is doing. So it's just it's just averaging the middle two when you have an even number. The range is the highest minus the lowest. Uh, if you want to be snazzy, you can actually type max um, equals and then max and then grab your cells and then minus the min and grab your cells. Uh, or you could also just do equals 1350 minus 550 because you can see it's the max minus the min, which is 800. 
The IQR is Q3 minus Q1, so you would do equals the Q3, which is in I5, minus a Q1, which is in I3, and hit enter to get 450. So those are some kind of snazzy Excel tricks to help you uh, work this problem. I uh, hope you have, uh, remember if you ever wanted to add more decimal places to a cell, you can do it to the whole thing, or you can do it just to a range of cells. Um, we would go into home and we could just say, we could add a few more decimal places here. I'm oh, sorry, so home, and then this one decreases, this one increases. So I could, you know, ask it if I wanted a few more decimal places, like click a few times to add decimal places. Okay.